Hello everyone and welcome back to another lesson in making subpar videos for average grades. Today, we will be taking a look at the three types of energy production that our muscles use. These are important so that we can go from being a cringe normie to a based game. If you want to become a specimen of the Chadley type such as myself, then follow me as we take this deep dive into muscle based energy production. First and foremost we have aerobic respiration, commonly referred to as uh, breathing. This is commonly used for toning abs, what the? increasing endurance, and multiple felonies from the years 2001 to 2005. An exquisite example of this is doing 20 mile sprints, where your body produces the energy it needs to keep you going. However, while this is used to produce quite a bit of energy, it is exceedingly taxing on the frail human body. This means that we need another way to produce energy, so we do not keel over and die of overexhaustion so that we can continue our Chadley campaign of invading Ukraine. This requires an aerobic respiration, commonly referred to as not breathing, where aerobic respiration is obviously better but more taxing. An aerobic respiration isn't and isn't. With this method it becomes very easy to produce energy without oxygen, but the energy produced is not very much. Examples of this type of respiration include but are not limited to weightlifting, biking, and jumping rope. So obviously this type of respiration is advantageous because of its speed, but what if we want the middle ground? Well, you happen to be in luck, because creatine phosphate exists, using this performance enhancing drug produced by our own bodies. We can now get high off our own supply and get toned without the need of the black market or Instagram. Examples of creatine phosphate exercises can be found in throwing and hitting. This allows us to switch back and forth between energy usage and rest. And it allows us to show our dominance to those inferior to us. A random guy living in my walls. I hear you thinking. What type of crazy science stuff is going on behind the scene? Wait, you're living with now. I'm glad you asked. Here is the aerobic respiration formula. Notice that the reaction is exothermic in nature, meaning it releases energy for our own uses. Here is the anaerobic formula, and here is the creatine phosphate formula. Notice that if ATP is not produced fast enough, we may experience an aerobic expiration due to a buildup of lactic acid. And now for the pros and cons. For an aerobic respiration, the pros include faster energy production, better looking biceps, and a general feeling that you're better than everyone. The cons include not producing a lot of energy and being susceptible to the cringe effects of lactic acid. Cretine phosphate is pretty much the better version of anaerobic respiration, so its pros and cons list is pretty much the same. Now that we know how to make energy for ourselves, nothing can stop us from taking over the entirety of Ukraine. So get out there and prove me right.